What is going on, YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the debut album by OJ to Juice Man. Basically, this project is called The Other Side of the Trap, and it came out in the winter of 2009. So the thing about this particular project in particular is this is a pretty revolutionary album in like this is a pretty revolutionary album in like Atlanta trap sound as far as that pitch kind of particularly happened with it between like the mid late to between like the late 2000s to about the early 2010s this is a pretty big deal as far as that pitch kind of happens with it and I would almost say that it was more revolutionary than Walk a Flock of Flame Gucci Mane found two were Gucci Mane found two revolutionary folks in the late 2000s one of which was OJ Deuce Man the other of which was Walk a Flock and a Walk a Flock had more of like drill type sound throughout the the throughout like the early 2010s with songs like Hard in the Paint and some of those type ones. But basically OJ the Juice Man had some hits like Make the Trap Say A and some of those type ones. Pretty dominant type trap sound that revolutionized a lot of stuff around that particular time. Just between 2008 and 2010, he was basically everywhere as far as that pitch kind of happens. So this is a pretty revolutionary album here, at least in terms of like the Atlanta scene for like the late 2000s and stuff like that. It did a lot of things. It's a trailblazing type project. Did shifted like the mold of some folks. Definitely folks like Gorilla Zoe and Migos and some of those type folks and there's some other ones I'm trying to think of like <clears throat> you know, more folks like Shoddy Low and some of those type folks just some of those type pitches I would say uh, you know I would probably even say Fast Life Youngsters some of those type folks around that particular time it was just a big deal around that particular sound that just did a lot between like especially 2009 2010 I'd have to suppose dope enough constantly to get that in particular but Migos kind of had that particular sound for a while and like the early mid in the early mid 2010s as far as that pitch but this is a particular kind of zaytoven type sound really i feel like zaytoven i feel like oj juice man had as close of a bond with zaytoven as much as gucci man did but he just had a different type sound so gucci man eventually fleshed out and just had more widespread trap type cuts but when you think of some of that particular type sound it was definitely on here there's a lot of songs like make the trap say a some of those type ones there's some other ones on here i'm trying to think of like hell of a life some of those type ones that were just a big deal just throughout southern rap as far as that pitch can happen i mean he had a pretty dominant 2009 i would say about oj juice man this is kind of an off to the wayside album wikipedia doesn't really have an article about this album they used to back in the day i remember visiting that particular page but they kind of downplayed it nowadays just because he only had like one hit single but he actually was a big deal around like the southern rap type sound especially atlanta some of those type pitches just kind of the concept that when Waka Flock of Flame blew up and some of those type folks and Gucci Mane himself blew up in like the late 2000s and those type pitches, it just kind of, and this kind of washed him out and made him not as pertinent as far as that pitch can happen. But he was a big deal and he just did a lot for that particular sound. So I'd have to say it's a pretty good concept here. This album's definitely going to get a pretty raise for it. It's damn near dismissed getting a 10 out of 10. I'd have to say it's really that much of quality. I understand like a more casual and commercial type market that this guy is somewhat grading. It's not to say he's great, but it's just kind of the concept that his ad libs and some stuff like that could probably grate on one's nerves if you're not familiar with it or used to it as far as that pitch kind of happens. He just kind of has a little bit more of a different type draw. This originality effect that is just different from some of these type folks I'd have to suppose, but still some quality stuff here. It's kind of, I mean, I feel like the social score is going to get a pretty high score, but the score for this album might get higher just because it just is, it's definitely a hardcore rap type album and it's definitely big in it like, <clears throat> it was definitely big in Atlanta and places like that. I'd have to suppose by this question how it would fare in like different markets across the United States and just overall in general as far as that pitch kind of goes along with it. But it was a pretty big deal. Definitely a good trap album, late 2000s trap album that was a trailblazer. It just kind of shifted the sound from folks of like Young Jock and Young Dro and some of those type folks and like other folks like that. I'd have to suppose this late 2000s Rocco even. I would have to say some of those type folks to get into more of like almost like early 2010s type sound with folks like future amigos and some of those type folks so it's an in interesting concept just to kind of get that big deal project here this maybe this stuff wouldn't maybe most commercial folks wouldn't catch that particular concept but it is one so i'd have to say so we'll go ahead and talk about the singles here <clears throat> Basically, out of 14 songs, there were two singles. One of which was the one of which was "Make the Trap Say A" with Gucci Mane, and then the other one was "I'm Getting Money." So it's a good enough concept. So once again, OJ Juice Man was one of Gucci Mane's wingmen back in the day. He was the next that was going to blow up after Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane had put out an album in late 2007 called "Back to the Trap House," was starting to blow up and get some commercial type hits. So they put on some folks. Waka Flocka came later and later in 2009 and stuff. But OJ Waka Flocka came later in 2009. But OJ Juice Man was late 2000. 2008 territory. I would say that his particular mixtape type there, I, I feel like he probably had I feel like he probably had a number of mixtape hits, and especially in Atlanta back in 2008, as far as that pitch kind of happened with it. But it's good enough concept to get that in particular. So I would have to say, Make the Trap Say A is the first single here. Pretty nice one. This is pretty distinct kind of Zaytoven type sound. This sounds like a lot of different rap songs out of Atlanta between like 2008 and early 
or mid 2010 i'd have suppose pretty good concept for that so it's like a signature kind of late 2000s trap it i'd have to say it's a trailblazing sound i definitely feel about it's a trailblazing sound i would definitely feel about this one it's just a nice residential trap party kind of hit i would definitely feel like so it's a pretty good boppish type one gucci man does a pretty good job on this particular song it's just a dope enough concept oj juice man does good on here i do like i was saying i do feel like this song might be a little bit grating if you're not used to it but once you get used to like more atlanta type sound this thing's that particular marketing it's a pretty good song just to kind of have so it's kind of the concept that He's just less casual of a market, but still a good enough song to kind of have within that relative pitch. It just he has a real energetic type flow on here as far as that pitch kind of happens with it. Just some good causes. It's pretty, it's just very Zaytoven like and just things like that. I would have, I suppose, just within that relative pitch. And that's a pretty good concept because Gucci Man, Migos, some of those type of folks would particularly kind of have that sound. Maybe Rich the Kid. I can't really think of too many folks that Zaytoven has done, but I know he's done a number of ones out of Atlanta. There's, there's probably some more I'm not listing, but I can think of it. I do know some of his stuff, so I'd have to say good enough concept to get that one. Just a real nice, distinct type song that just feels like late 2000s type. There's pretty nice bop signature type song on a late 2000s trap, I would have to say. I'm Getting Money is the second single. This is another highlighted one. Definitely appreciate this one. This is pretty nice one. This one's a little bit more casual, but it's just kind of a sleepy touch. And this one's not as much like a nightclub type song like Make the Trap Say A, I'd have to suppose, but it's still a pretty nice one. It's like a sleepy kind of groggy morning trap glaze of a song, I would feel like. And it's a good, this would be a good jump start to your day, I would have to suppose. A good smoke one and breakfast type bop, I would definitely feel like. So this is definitely some good IHOP and Waffle House type music, I would definitely suppose. This one at 7 o'clock, Pink Skies, 7 a.m., some pitch like that. Pink Skies, some stuff like that. Just getting pancakes, waffles, some of those type pitches. Just grit, glit. Just getting grit, some of those type of things, scrambled eggs, some of that type of stuff. I'd have, I suppose there's some good enough concepts to kind of have that. There's some good enough concepts to kind of have that in particular. I would also feel like this song is kind of like an evening type song. It can be kind of a malaise evening where you just got done with work and this has that woozy type feel. This is a decent kind of smoke a few song. I would have, I suppose this is a good concept to kind of get that, but it's either morning, evening, something like that. Just a woozy kind of day, just a dreary kind of day where you're just kind of feeling the wind and the malaise of it or fatigue as far as that pitch kind of happens. Real groggy type song. I'd have, I suppose that's why I felt like it was a morning song. It's just good enough pitch. For that that's a nice one so basically out of 14 songs off this particular album i wound up recommending to you 11 so that's damn near a classic i would have to say if i had like 12 out of 15 i would have given this album a 10 out of 10 but it's 14 songs so it's just kind of an odd pairing as far as that pitch kind of happens especially considering the fact that there are so many songs out of those 14 that i recommend so it's a good enough concept just to see that in particular but i'll go ahead and recommend the 11 songs out of 14 i recommend so those 11 songs would be make the trap say a i'm getting money batman Na Ming, Young Juice, Hell of a Life, I Be Trappin', Washing Powder, Cop a Chicken, 50 Bricks, and Good Night. So these are some nice ones on here. A couple glitzy ones on here would be Batman and Washing Powder. So I'm going to talk about Batman. So Batman is basically like a glitzy kind of vehicle prone electricity of a song. I'd have to say it's like a good late. It's like a good late 2000s stunt song. I would definitely have to feel like this is like a looking crispy kind of tune. I would definitely feel like and this is just a solid kind of turn up gem. So I definitely appreciate this one. Just a Batman type vehicle. Obviously the Batmobile stuff like that just within that pitch. It's a real nice flashy vehicle as far as that pitch kind of has with it. Real nice glitzy one. Works pretty damn well. Flex some stunt type tunes for late 2000s type fair as far as that kind of goes. Just a little bit of glitzy type ones. Just kind of preparing for like the early 2010s as far as that pitch kind of happens. Just a real nice boppish type one to kind of get. Definitely some good stunt music. The same thing can be said about Washing Powder. This is another one that's pretty similar to Batman. I'd have to suppose it's like a glossy kind of night traverse gem. I'd have to say it's like a rave kind of social night outing times so of a song. I would definitely feel like and this is just some great vehicle stunt music. And this is just some great vehicle stunt music. I'd have to suppose. So Washing Powder, Batman, these are some, these are just some real affable kind of vehicle bound type tunes that work pretty well for like some flossing kind of sense. I just like some flossing kind of sense. I would have to suppose some, some real nice stunt type ones. Works pretty well. I would have to say just within that pitch. Hell of a Life is a pretty nice one. This is like another, Hell of a Life is like another signature kind of trailblazing late 2000s trap gem. I would have to say it's a pretty distinct sound that this song particularly kind of has. And this is just like a vanilla kind of, and this song is a vanilla club night out. I'd have to suppose it's a pretty good concept to get that one particular. This one has a pretty distinct type sound, pretty similar to like Make the Trap Say A. I'd have to suppose it's definitely a song that you probably have heard just out of Migos and folks like that. Some of those type pitches of early 2010s trap artists as far as that pitch kind of has with it. This sound definitely got fleshed out a lot more throughout the next several years as far as that pitch kind of has. But these two songs, I feel like there's just some distinct ones on here that just make this kind of a revolutionary type album. I'd have to suppose. I'd probably say another one that's kind of like Make the Trap Say A and Hell of a Life in terms of its revolutionary typeness. I'd I'd say would probably be uh 
I'd say 50 Bricks and Coffee Chicken are a few more revolutionary type songs that just had that particular trailblazing type sound as far as that pitch kind of happens. But those are some good concepts. But Young Juice is a pretty highlighted one. Definitely like this one. Remember this song from back in the day. It's a complete kind of groggy, sluggish, and stuck type smoke severals. Smoke several stogies type tune. I would definitely have to feel it's a great song to get stoned to to some pitches like that. To smoke a whole ounce something of that real. To smoke a whole ounce something of that relative pitch. I'd have to suppose pretty good concept to get that one in particular. This just has some affable energy and this is just a munchies kind of song. So it's definitely a good song for some munchies just late night type fair but it's also pretty dreary day if you're just going out and about if you just feel like hitting up the mall something like that some of those type pitches is being stoned as hell something that relative pitch it's kind of the concept of just some wooziness and it's overall appeal just getting snackish getting like some Chex Mix getting some muffins and things like that just those relative concepts just kind of have in particular this is a great song to kind of have for that particular type fair just a great snackish type tune smoky type tune I'd have to say real nice woozy type one Na Ming is a pretty nice one. This is like a bouncing kind of nightclub stunt song, I have to say. This is a pretty easy dance club smash of a song, I would definitely feel like. And this is just a regular night outing fun, I would have to say. And it's a good, this is just some night outing fun to get turned up to, I would have to suppose. So it's a pretty dope concept. This is definitely like one of the most nightclub type songs on here. This just has a typical kind of glitzy type fear about it. Just a real bouncing type one. Pretty good. This is just a pretty good dance beat, I'd have to suppose. This is good enough concept to get that one in particular. It just works pretty well. This is a pretty nice boppish type one. Probably could have been a single. This would have been a pretty good choice to kind of have just for like a regular kind of typical night out as far as that pitch kind of happens it's a real nice one to kind of get just within that sense it's the boppish type one one for the ladies as far as that pitch kind of happens as far as that kind of it's the breezies and stuff like and just the breezies and beezies as far as that pitch kind of happens with it just some good concepts there i'd have to say i be trapping's another pretty highlighted one it's like a vintage kind of mid-2000s like trap gem i would have to say this is like a good evening residential commute of a song i would have to feel like and this is some post-up music and it's kind of some mid-bustle this is some good evening residential commute post up music i would definitely feel like and this is just good for some mid bustle so this kind of has some bustle about it. it's a little bit of a hustle type tune i would have to suppose good concept just amidst the work day or the work evening as far as that pitch kind of has with it this this really feels ripped out of the mid 2000s something out of 2006 2007 2006 2007 fair like that i'd have to suppose pretty good concept this one just this vintage kind of song i had to say within that relative pitch but it's a pretty nice one i would have liked more songs like this particular song on here it's good enough concept kind of get that one but it's a nice one Another pretty nice one on here is Coppa Chicken. Definitely appreciate this one. It's like a good sunsetting kind of evening turn up snap of a song. I would have to turn up snap of a song. I'd have to suppose this is a pretty short song, less than less than two minutes. I'd have to say and this is just a residential boiler and it gets you excited pretty well. And this is just a good one to smoke one too. I'd have to suppose so a pretty nice one in particular. Coppa Chicken is just a good highlight type one. This one works pretty well with like, oh, I would say like, I would say Coppa Chicken works pretty well with like Na Ming. I would suppose there's some good concepts to kind of get some of those in particular as far as that pitch kind of happens. It's a real nice, I mean, this is another residential type one. I'd have to suppose Coppa Chicken is definitely more residential just within that pitch. I'd say Make the Trap Say A and Na Ming are definitely some nightclub type songs to kind of have within that pitch. But this is kind of one where you're getting ready to step out of bed, just getting in your vehicle, getting ready to step out, looking good as far as that pitch kind of happens, looking crispy, some of those type of things. I'd have to suppose there's good enough concept to get ready to step out of bed. So it's a good concept for that. 50 Bricks is another highlighted one. This is definitely a more, 50 Bricks is a more glared version of Hell of a Life. I'd have to say like revolutionary kind of trailblazing song like I was saying. It's just an energizing kind of boiling nightclub song. And it's just an energizing boiling kind of nightclub times of a song I'd have to say. And this is just some good turn up. So it's definitely like one. If you like Hell of a Life but you want one with a little bit more revved up energy, a little bit more frenetic type one, 50 Bricks is a good one for that one in particular. Once again, this reminds me of Migos and folks like that. Some of those folks had a quality control music and some of those type pitches like the early mid 2010s as far as that kind of goes. It's some real good Zaytoven type beats on here. I'm not sure how much of this album Zaytoven produced this because there's not really a Wikipedia article about this album. I would have to say, yeah, I know he produced a number of beats on here and you can probably tell the ones that he did. I definitely feel like Hell of a Life and Make the Trap Say A or some. I know those are some Zaytoven type beats. I just would have to say he might have produced the whole album. This really has that particular sound. But it's just very trap savvy type album. I suppose it's a good concept. Get that one in particular. So Good Nights, another highlight one. This is pretty nice one. This has Gucci Mane on there also. It's like an electric kind of night energy, graceful turn up. But Good Night just has some electric night energy. I'd have to say it's like a graceful turn up, but it's a good social cut to get cranked to. I would definitely feel like it's just some lively kind of fanfare about this particular song. So this one definitely feels a little bit more graceful, a little bit more blue blood as far as that pitch kind of has with that. Now the lyrics in the song are just more trap oriented as far as that pitch kind of happens. Just more typical kind of Jersey type fare as far as that. And this more typical kind of trap fare as far as that pitch kind of happens with it. But I would have to say it's just a good enough concept to kind of get within that particular type fare. Just more, it's graceful, but it has like the edge of just kind of having like some social ruggedness about it. That this is a good house party type bop as far as that pitch kind of happens with it. So it's just some good concepts. It's just a little bit more lively, maybe a big city type tune if you're outside Atlanta, if you're in like New York or something like that or some of those type places, Philadelphia. 
um, Philadelphia, Baltimore, some of those type places, just in particular as far as that pitch kind of happens with that, I suppose. So it's good enough concept, I would have to say, but it's just a good enough, it's just some good stuff on here to talk about in particular. So that's the concept of this particular album. Just tons of trap hits on here, just without to say it's a revolutionary album, definitely trailblazing for like Atlanta Sun around this particular time. It was kind of like a conduit between like folks like Young Jock, Young Dro, some of those type of folks in Rocco to getting to folks like Migos and Future and folks like that in like the early 2010s as far as that pitch kind of happens with it. Just a good enough concept. Kind of an underrated album, I'd have to say. On top of that, it's pretty underrated just to be able to suppose in particular. It's just kind of the concept. It's not every day that this album's particularly kind of talking about. It's not every day that this particular album's kind of talked about or OJ Juice Man in particular. I realize that he kind of has somewhat of a, like a grading type distinctive style, but it's just kind of the concept that he does have some good concept system in particular. It's not grading like full blown, but it's just kind of one if you're not used to like i was saying but talk about the three songs i didn't recommend on here basically most of these are just towards the end of the album like i really didn't like the beat at all like i really didn't like the beat at all on old school cars i mean lil wayne had a pretty similar song to this on like one of his mixtapes i think it was like uh I think it was like the Drought 3 or something like that. I remember, I've heard this beat before. It was better on that particular version, but this was not good enough to kind of have within that relative pitch. It's just, I just felt like the affability of that one just didn't work that well. Banker was kind of a poor type one that was trying to be like a pop trap type tune, but just didn't pull it off that well. Trying to pull off like the Fast Life Youngsters type style. And then Boulder, great. And then Boulder Crest was just kind of a poor type one that just didn't really have like the edge towards it. it was just some of these were just kind of in between type songs that just kind of were awkward and just kind of you wondered the direction about some of those as far as that pitch can happen. But basically, me recommending 11 out of 14 songs in this particular album. I'm going to go ahead and give this album like a 9.75 out of 10. Just barely missed a 10 out of 10. If I had like one more song, this probably would have gotten a 10 out of 10. Just, just damn near a perfect trap album, I would have to suppose, especially out of the late 2000s. Like I was saying, this is like I was saying, this is a pretty revolutionary album. But to talk about the social score on here, that's kind of tricky. I think I'm going to give the social score. I think I'm going to give the social score of this album like a 9.25 out of 10. I feel like that's good enough to have within that relative pitch. It's just the fact that he's somewhat grading just within the ad lib. It's just the fact that his style is somewhat grading just within the ad libs and stuff like that. I just question as to how casual folks would interact with it as far as that pitch kind of happens with it, especially with folks that didn't grow up on him or just relatively newer folks to him as far as that pitch kind of goes. But 9.25 is still pretty damn good. I'd have to suppose 9.75 score, so it's just the concept about it. So in terms of the future, like OJ Juice Man has dropped a number of mixtapes. Apparently he just put out like a song with Suki Hana or something like that. There's some pitches that have kind of, there's some pitches that have kind of gone along with it. He has a ton of mixtapes. So I'm going to have to get to some more of these. It's like his only album apart from one other one that came out in 2014. So I'm definitely going to get to some of these mixtapes, like a Gangsta Grills tape and some pitch, like one of his Gangsta Grills tapes and some pitches like that. I'd have to suppose it was it's a pretty highlighted concept here. Definitely damn near a classic, definitely a revolutionary album that did a lot of damage. Definitely recommend it as far as that pitch can have, especially if you like the Atlanta trap type sound out of the late 2000s to early 2010s because this is a big deal back in the day. Definitely has some quality on here, some social outings, some stuff like that, some stunt and floss songs, some good makeshift type songs in here and like a certain sense of some overall good day, evening, morning, and nightlife just overall. There's some good pitches kind of have. It's pretty widespread variety of albums. So I do recommend it quite a bit, I'd have to say.